Hello, my name is Thomas and in this short tutorial we will take a look at how we can place the solar stone tiled roof panels on existing roof surfaces in Autodesk Revit and also how to make some extra modifications afterwards. So let's begin. After you have downloaded and installed the solar stone prodlib library open the application either from the ribbon or you can also activate it from the dedicated panel. Now select the tiled solar roof. There are two choices, the 90 watt and the 105 watt modules. On both occasions the interface layout is pretty much the same, just with different information details. Also, there is a little checkbox with shifted panels. When it is checked, the tiles placement will be shifted, otherwise straight. So now, let's press insert, then click on the desired surface. It will take a moment to calculate. And you now have a tiled solar roof. Here you can see what it's going to look like if you leave the shifted checkbox checked. Let's repeat this step for the other half of the roof. Here let's try a different tile. Let's select the 105 watt variant and let's leave the shifted checkbox unchecked. Again, it's going to take a minute to calculate. And here we have a 105 watt version of the solar stone tiled solar roof. And as you can see, the alignment of the panels is straight. OK, but let's say we want to lose the skylight in the design process and fill the whole roof with tiles. First of all, let's delete the skylight. Now there is a big hole left behind where the skylight used to be. To correct that, select the solar stone tiled roof and on the ribbon in Revit, click Prodlib Modify. The Prodlib interface opens with the exact same options as we selected before for this particular roof layout. And if you don't want to change anything else, just click Update here on the right side of the interface. 